Let's take a look at how the Skyle works on the iPad, making it eye gaze accessible. First, you're gonna go into the Skyle app. It will have the green bar on the top for a moment. And then you can see where your eyes are going to go. If I'm too far right or if I'm too far left, the bars at the top and the right will indicate so. Then you can calibrate. I'm gonna choose a five point calibration, keep my body still and look at the dot as it goes across the screen. Then I can say done, go out of the application, go into a language system and try it out. To watch. When you go into the Skyle, there are a lot of settings to consider. Let's take a look. You're going to want to be sure that you're in explicit mode. Be sure that stepped is turned off. You can do a default pointer or an emoji pointer. You can tell it that you want a five or a nine point. Under profiles, the best thing to do is to start as a beginner. Be sure the iPad and the app are running on the latest version and that the iPad is fully charged. If it gets low, it will preserve battery and disconnect. The only way to reconnect to the Skyle is to do a hard shutdown. To perform that, you will unplug the device, hold the power and the volume up key down and slide to power off. Leave it off for about seven to 10 seconds. Hold down the power button again and the Apple logo will appear as it reboots. Additional settings within the iPad include going into your settings, going into accessibilities, going into touch, and making sure assistive touch is on. Within assistive touch, scroll down and be sure that your sensitivity is all the way down to turtle. The dwell control is on and that you set the dwell time accordingly. The manufacturers recommend 1.25. I found that's a little bit long for my young children's attention span, but it may increase accuracy to have it long enough to look at it and look away before it speaks it. Also within accessibility, you'll need to go into pointer control and again, reduce the scrolling speed. Next, you will go into settings and display and select dark mode and be sure view is zoomed. Settings, general and trackpad and mouse will also allow you to slow down the speed of the cursor. Under settings and accessibility, you will go into pointer control Here's where you can decide the pointer size and again, slow down the animation so that the pointer can adapt to elements on the screen. All of these settings are required for the Skyle to work at its optimal level. So we're gonna put the child in front of the device with the eyes indicator showing that he's center and hit calibrate. We're going to do a five point calibration. Okay, so we've got one stars on these, but we're just going to say done because we got it. And now we're going to go into touch chat. What happens? Did you see Zika the other day? Oh, yes, you guys were at Arizona. Mm -hmm. So you guys saw some wild animals, didn't you? Maybe. Deer. You saw yeah. some deer there? You did? Yeah. Yeah. No, no way! You can see a yeah. lot of deer. Deer. Oh, that's exciting. That is so fun. What else did you see?
Zebra. There was a zebra? Yes. There was a zebra? Oh my goodness. I didn't either. That's amazing.